Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Rise of Mordor Total War. Joining me today is Pixelated Apollo. Hello, hello. Good to be here. And we are on an awesome custom map called Edoras. You may have heard of it. And we're also using the Rise of Mordor update to Isengard, which goes ahead and revamps a few of the units. Now, obviously, I'm still expecting a lot more of their units to be added over the next com coming months. But, you know, at the moment, this is really, really cool to see the extra upgrades. And they look really, really cool. And that's what you're going to be commanding, right? Yeah, so I'm going Isengard. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like the upgrades they, they've done to them. They definitely feel, they look a lot more realistic. It seems like they've got more unit variation uh, in their in the unit. So it's pretty cool. Also, I got some Berserkers, which are like extremely fast and deadly. So can't wait to see them in today's battle. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to rip through my defenses. So this map, the uh, the modder himself said this is his first attempt at making a map, which is pretty impressive. And hopefully he does continue to make more and more because all the new Lord of the Rings maps are, are always welcome. And I can't wait to yes. fight and beat you, beat you on all of them. Oh, you know? wow, wow. wow. I've, got, I've got a scorecard. Every time I beat you on a Lord of the Rings oh map, my I, just, God. I just pump it another victory. That's just, dude, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm just going to try hard now. Uh, even though I mean, you always try. I know, I, I know. I'm just pretending I don't. I, I still can't just. I, I can't accept that you're like better than me. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna like pretend I'm not tryharding. Oh, this time I'm gonna play with my hands instead of my feet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing as Dale because unfortunately Rohan aren't out yet. But hopefully they will be. You know, at some point in the future, maybe we'll have to revisit this map as well. Um, and yeah, we'll just run through what, what we're bringing. You know, everyone's seen these units before, or at least you've seen my units, haven't seen your units before. But I'll just run through my army and then we can look at yours in a bit more detail. So on my front lines, I basically just have these weaker peasant infantry to kind of act as a peasantry of Rohan. Then as we go up the hill, I have more of my elite Dalian infantry. These guys are much, much more, much, much better and well-trained infantry. And I'm sure they'll be able to cut down quite a few of your men. Then as we go back, I have my Vinland guard. These guys are super elite. I even have like Elven-esque armor on, really, really strong. Uh, and then finally, over in the distance, I have some reinforcing cavalry as we are playing Rohan. So that I felt like that would be awesome to bring a nice little cavalry force to the engagement. And these guys will be joining the battle a little bit later on when all, all hope looks lost. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at your more, uh, more updated army. Yeah, so I mean, they didn't add much. I think they only added the Berserkers to the roster. So I've got the Urukai crossbows. Uh, which look fantastic. I've got uh, some Urukai pikes, and I also, of course, have the berserkers here, and I have the swordsman way in the back, and I've got my general way in the back as well, and I've got my army split in two since I'm attacking both uh, both entrances to uh, Edoras. So pretty cool. So Edoras, Edoras, yeah, go ahead and uh, start this siege battle and try and take it. So obviously, this fortress isn't a fortress you know it's uh it's a bit undefended and i don't really have the great defenses i've just got kind of like two choke points more than anything else to try and hold you back and i'm i'm sure you'll overwhelm my defenses pretty easily but i wanted to show off the map and uh and uh, yeah make a i mean it, you know? all jokes aside we we never like this is all just like showcase kind of stuff we're not like try hard in here i mean i maybe you are but i'm not <laughs> no not at all <laughs> Lord JK, I am. Well, I know, I know. As, as we were saying, like, this is a newer build of Rise of Mordor, um, and this is kind of like a pre-release build almost, as in like no other YouTubers have gotten this yet because um, we were like, oh, can we have it? We're about to do this battle in Edoras, and it'd be cool if we had it. Uh, so because of that, it's not fully finished yet. You can see some of the units are popping out at distance, as well as balancing. They haven't really balanced these guys yet either. So, you know, because of that, um, the units might look a bit silly, but I'm sure that will all be fixed, you know, in the coming patches, which I'm sure are to follow. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be exciting when they start to release some newer factions. Yeah, I can't wait for Rohan, because I feel like, you know, this is more like a puzzle piece of the mod, you know? You know, as we get these factions, the picture slowly starts to get filled in a bit more and a bit more, and when we get more rosters and all that stuff. So, yeah, when Rohan comes out, it's going to be great, because then we're going to have four factions we can mess around with and have much more interesting engagements. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to add a lot of life to the mod. I just can't wait to see Rohan in this mod. It's going to be so awesome. Yeah, for sure. So, you're going to be up your pikemen here first, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know. Looks like my barlings have something to shoot at now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, go for him. 
Oh, I will. Oh my god, you're so- I, I didn't mean to. I didn't you're mean- so lame. I didn't mean to. I'm not gonna try hard. I'm, I'm I not was try focusing. Hard at all. You're Jackie, shooting my shut up with your crossbows. Oh, I you didn't so... mean to. Don't ever talk to me. I did I was focusing on the other side. I just pushed them up. All oh right. Oh my god. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, don't yeah. even talk to me. Look, Classic. you can go back and watch the video. You'll see me focus and try hard, Mo. No, I know what you're going to do. You're going to get someone in your Discord to come reenact this exact battle and you're going to cover over the Oh, footage. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go <laughs> through all that effort. Yeah, you are. I know it. I mean, your pike are already ripping me apart. Look how long yeah. your pike is compared to my, my pointy stick. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And also, it's like a fancy pointy stick, so... I don't even see those pikes being stable, like sturdy. Yeah. Like the little sure. twirls over there. I know pikemen aren't really the best in this in this mod, at least in the game overall, because I feel like there's only ever two variants of pikemen in Total War. Ones which are basically like a brick wall with spikes on, and then the kind of like the ones with like fairy pokers and just don't seem to do much damage. <laughs> And I think Rise of Mordor goes for a less powerful pikemen. Yeah. More than anything else. Because whenever I've noticed, like, Fountain Guard and stuff, they just don't seem to rack up the kills. Which is, I, I prefer that, to be fair. I think it's, you know, Rome 2 pikemen pre patches were just literally stone walls with spikes on that people just used to run into. It was disgusting. Yeah, no, I, I don't really like pikes at all. Um, you brought enough of them in this battle. Well, it's because I have like four different units, all right? But anyways, I'm gonna actually going to break pike formation and just so fight. a bit more aggressive. Just just because, you know, I feel like the pikes are a little too cheesy. They're not a cheesy. I didn't think they're that strong. I mean, at the moment, you're fighting a lot of my weaker units, so. That's true. I mean, be my guest, you know? You want to try? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to hear you complain, so, you know. I'm just gonna avoid that. Them crossbows are hurting. How much? Uh, how many kills are they on already? Let's see. Oh, Which... Not too many actually. I mean, I don't have a lot of men, but I mean, I'm sure I'll... they're I mean... doing their job right. They're piercing that heavy armor infantry. Your archers use up their ammo quick. My God. I know. They they rinse through that. But I mean, you know, your pikes aren't. Are you gonna break pike formation on the other side? I think it'd actually be better to break pike formation on the other side. I think you'd kill me a lot quicker, because these are just spear militia. So like, I feel like your oryx would do much better. I don't know, maybe not, but I mean, it doesn't like, matter. At... I don't. I just think the pikes are too much for this. Yeah, looking at stats, yeah, you honestly don't think you need to be in that formation. I might actually retreat a little bit up, because I actually have these like these yeah. these um kind of like stakes in the ground, which are kind of cool. Okay, yeah. So I'll fall back to them and then try and hold that a little bit. But I mean, again, I have a lot on this right side. I have a lot of crappy spearmen. Surround. And when should I bring in my reinforcements, do you think? I, I just surprise me. Okay. Yeah. Just bring them in right now. Yeah. Hey, hey, if you want to. Boom. Nice. All right, crossbows. Focus down the defenders. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that is their job, right? Uh, yeah, that is their job. You have plenty of men, you know, so don't be. I mean, you do have 7,000 men, and I have 3,000 yeah, men, yeah. but. Hey, again, this is a showcase, all right? <laughs> no, you're out for blood. I've I won the past couple battles we've played in, so now you're out for blood. Yeah, I'm out. To, whatever it takes. <laughs> So many of you. There we go. Broke the uh, the peasant spears over on this side. Nice, nice. Charge! Oh, crossbows! <laughs> I don't want him yelling at me. Come on, stop, crossbows. I mean, you do you. you, uh, do you no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's only fair. I mean, all's fair in love and war. That's true. Flanks. Yeah. 
It's pretty shit. cool. Shameful display. I really like this map. I think it's it's very simple. Yeah. It's very it's it's cool. Especially for his like first map as well. You know that's what he said in the description. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. That's how much uh, so much more I care. Hopefully, there's plenty more to come because the more mods that come out, you know, for Lord of the Rings, hopefully more people decide to jump on them and we start getting some really good maps for Attila. Oh, because yeah. the Ryzen Mordor team, you know, they're working on creating their own maps and stuff with their own architecture and models and stuff. So, you know, whenever that does come out in the in a hundred years or so, hundred years, it'll be amazing. Yeah, obviously I'm kidding. You know, it's, considering you know the, the high quality they're making this mod. It's the, you know, and they obviously all have their own jobs. They're doing this for free. You know, their own lives and school and stuff. And you know, they can take as long as they want. What do you think is going to come out first? Uh, Rise of Mordor, like, complete or Bannerlord? <laughs> oh, God. Who knows? <laughs> what do you think is going to come out first? Rise of Mordor complete or the, the next big historical game? Uh, probably Rise of Mordor. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I would take a bet on that, my good sir. Okay, I bet you a high five, man. Yeah, but you have to fly to England to give that to me. <laughs> okay. I'm actually starting to lose quite heavily on this right flank. Time to deploy the elite infantry. I'll give you more than a high five. Hell yeah. Yeah! I'm really impressed how these watch post sentries are doing against your Oryx swords. Yeah, let's see. Let me go back over there. Yeah, they were doing pretty well. It's starting to break now, but. God, I love the, the new Isengard infantry. It just looks so cool. I love like the amount of white hands. Just It just adds a lot for something so little to, to increase. And obviously the helmets are great. Whoosh. Yeah, they look fantastic. The moment, my, my archers are having an easy task of uh, picking off a few of your men. I still have so much ammunition to go through though on a few of my guys who just haven't shot. Should probably start using that. Your Vineland guards also have like a skirmishing ability, so. Yeah, they have javelins. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that damage, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Such a fire is coming in now, thick and fast. I still have so many troops, though. It's, it's yeah, and so many. What you have? What six and a half thousand? You've only yeah. lost a thousand men. Like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, you might want to get your men just like closer to the walls now as well, just so it's an easier transition to bring them in. I I don't want to hear advice from you. I'm just saying, you know, instead of we have to wait like 20 minutes when all these units die for you to move up the next unit's hey, way. I'm, I'm well aware, okay? I don't want to hear it. So your um, Dalian Swordsman also put yeah. up a good stand. Nice, nice. Yeah, they're all pretty good. I don't think they actually have a uh, shield wall anymore. Oh, Didn't really? Yeah, I think they maybe got rid of that. I also noticed that, like, I can't form loose formation. Yeah. So. I mean, your men are kind of in loose formation already, right? They're like rabble. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. No, your berserkers no. are. Here we go. Berser Watch these berserkers. They're insane. What side are you attacking, right or left? Um, uh, going, yeah. I see them. Oh. Oh. They're so quick. Yeah, they're they very They do fast. get incinerated, like, really quickly, yeah. though. Like, really quickly, if you're not careful. Push, men, push. Uh-oh. Uh oh. What's up? What's up? Da 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 da. Ah! Nothing to see here. Flee!
<laughs> Make safe the city! Oh! Defend the, the rear of our advancing armies! Now this is going to be annoying because I'm going to have to try and micro quite a lot here to, <laughs> yep. to do it and not be able to get as many close-ups, but hey, have to win, right? Hey, yeah. It's what it takes, man. Be the champion. It's it's what it, that's what it takes to impress random people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're a freaking daily and swordsman. Just die! How dare you talk to them like that? How can you say oh that? Oh my god, you have so much cap. It's elite cap as well at that. The general's looking all nice and tasty by himself. Nope, he's not by himself. Not alone. But no longer. Oh. Cavalry charge, man. Nasty. They've got reinforcements! Like, this is the battle if Theoden decided to hold at Edoras, I guess. I think if he had tried to hold at Ed Edoras, he'd be absolutely annihilated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine 10,000 Urukai against 300 or 400. Oh, no, do they have like 600 peasants? I don't Something know. Something like that. We're just like, yeah, hardly any soldiers. And they'd have even less as well, I think, because the only reason they had that many is because everyone fleed from all the surrounding towns as well to Helm's Deep. Yeah, it's true. So they'd have like, I don't know, like 200 peasants and like a few royal guard holding Edoras, a wooden city against 10,000 Uruks. <laughs> they'd have mines too, like explosive mines. <laughs> I think their city would be burnt to the ground and Urukai would just sit outside waiting for these guys to come out. Holy crap, your berserkers are amazing. They haven't lost a single... Oh, no, where, where are the no they, no, they broke. They broke. Okay, but I mean, they took out my elite infantry, so... Yeah, they did their job. I think your archers chewed them up. The cavalry's kind of did okay, but not that great. I don't think I micro them that well. You did pretty well where my general is. Seems like you racked up a ton of kills over here. Yeah, maybe I can just Turn! keep Oh, ah! look at the mouth they're turning like that. <laughs> the trained professionals. <laughs> See, exactly, they're, they're literally holding a nine-foot pike or whatever. The battle looks pretty bloody, though. If you're going down, like, all the battle points and stuff like that, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of heavy engagements. Lots yeah. of dead bodies as we make our way up. Yeah, this cab charge is really evening it out. Well, I mean, I don't think I'd go that far. You mean, you see, I don't know. I killed quite a few in that cab charge. Yeah. To be fair. I didn't think I killed as many as I did. When Urukai speak Latin. <laughs> In the name of Rome. <laughs> In the name of Rome. Yeah, you're starting to break a lot of my, uh, lot of my pikemen now. Oh, a lot of my cavalry. Sorry. Yeah, on both sides. Mhm. Mm those pikes looks, or those horsemen look so cool. Yeah, I think they've actually changed the variants as well. So there's a few silver looking ones as well, which is a really nice addition. Ooh, wow. It just broke a ton of my army. Already where? Uh, on the flank. Um, I guess it would be your right. Nice. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, I'm going to try and do something a little bit cheeky down here then. You can try. If I can break through this side, and then maybe I can just almost en envelop you. Oh, 
Oh no! Surround! God, die, Cav, die. I think it's literally all dead. Right, there's a few left, but not many. Do not flee! Flee for your lives. I'm feeling pretty confident in this battle, you know? Maybe. I don't know, actually. You have a lot of pikemen left. Yeah, I mean... I think it's time to go back into pike formation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? As it come to that? Yep, yep. And crossbows are so painful as well. Hey, at least I got you worried, right? You know, yeah. When you, you outnumber me by, you know, three and a half thousand men, I'm happy that I, I at least got you worried. I mean, the bounce of power um, is obviously deceiving, yeah. Yeah. Come on! Charge! Okay, I broke your cab just in time. Yeah, like all oh, my cab is now dead, unfortunately. But at least you're running out, running kind of low on crossbows, though. Eh? That's good. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm running low on a lot of things. Me too, though. I've just got to hope that I can hold you because I've committed everything now, I think I've got. So I just have to hope that what I've committed can, can do enough damage to break you. There's a chance. There's always hope. Anakin. I mean, I do have the high ground. That's true. Instant win. Especially when G you're a Jedi. GG easy already. Now, since you pushed me so hard, I'm going to be able to flank around you. Maybe that's exactly what I want you to do. Maybe, yeah. I mean, you got your general up there. Yep, there you go. Does the part of the game does not like it when I try and move him around. It goes so laggy when I when I try and like pathfind him through. Yeah, I think I have to try and break you here because that's my only hope. Without enough men, like I just need to try and kill enough of you that you start to break. I think. Yeah, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, me yeah. neither. If you had like a catapult. I think oh, it, yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Rally! Alright, throw my general in, too. There's a good oh, chance cool. if he can kill my general. Yeah, I like the I like the bravery you're, you're showing there. I respect that. Yeah, dude. I got the bravest of generals. I think I think that makes up for your your cheesy play earlier. Okay, sure. Cheese strat. Best strat. Yeah, you're doing pretty well. On the side where your general's not fighting, you're doing a pretty good job of holding me back. Yeah, that's all I'm doing, right? I'm just holding you back. I'm not really killing you Ooh, that quickly. Actually, you're starting to break. You're starting to break. Oh, don't. Don't. Don't want to hear it. Kill him, Urukai! Urukai. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool settlement. It'd be even cool if I ever managed to get these settlements into a campaign as well. Oh my god. If there's even a campaign? <laughs> yeah. I mean, personally, like, obviously Rise of Mordor only settled for greatness, so they would never do, like, just the basic ones, but like just to throw these units into a campaign, you know, as like England and France. England, and yeah. Italy, you know, and just let people mess around with it. That'd be crazy cool. That would obviously, be cool. you know, they just settle for greatness and that's always good because the, fi the finished project project will be so much better because of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope that the next historical game, they add some modding tools, like better ones. Yeah, and just allow them to like port it. Cause it yeah, made... imagine if, they did release the new uh, new big historical game and it was much better. 
and they could pour everything onto it. Because yeah. with, with that, you know, they are making what three historical Total Wars, uh, the DLC standalone, the proper next standalone one, and then the big one, right? So, uh, I think so, yeah. So, yeah, so like there's a good chance that one of them games will be better suited to this mod and they can just, you know, port all the stuff over. That'd be pretty cool. That would be amazing. I would, like, be so happy with CA. But, like, thank you, CA. Thank you. Because, again, I'm, I hope that they wouldn't go down the road. Because, obviously, Warhammer, you, c you can't import any of your own assets into the game. Nope. But that's obviously because Warhammer and Games Workshop are obviously very, very careful with their IP. So that's the only reason why that's the thing. So I'm hoping in the, the next historical games, you will be able to use the tools and uh, actually import your own assets. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That would be amazing. I guess only time will tell. This I mean, my men are holding. I mean, we've been fighting as well for almost 30 minutes holding, yeah. this, uh, holding this fortress. You're doing a bad. pretty good job. I mean, considering the amount of troops you have left. Yeah, you only have 1,800 men left. That's not bad. Yeah. I only have 600, so, it's, you know, it's not great. Crossbows of ammunition are hurting. Oh, I'm just looking at the perfect little side avenue as well on me. Yeah, they've got a pretty good spot. So unfortunately, you can't climb up the stairs. I know. I was like, I thought you could. I was, in fact, there's men fighting in the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> there's loads of blood on it as well, just pouring down the steps. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, gruesome. I think, oh! I think when you what? I'm breaking a ton over here. Oh, let's go! If I only had my general over here, I could have popped my war cry and I could have killed all of you. I just don't think I have enough because I must have like under, I have under 200 men defending this right side from you. Oh yeah. Just don't have enough. Even if I was to win, I don't think it would make, like even if I was, was to win this side, I don't think it would make much of a difference. Right, right. Your general though, God. Yeah, 200 kills on him, not too bad. Oh my God, boy. Some of my bardlings have over 500 kills. <laughs> They're just so good in melee and, you know, as being archers. Yeah. They are like the, the top tier of the, uh, the Dalian infantry. Kill, kill, kill! Well, oh, there you go, my general's dead. Nice. Got three brave units left, and I think you're going to see a mass rout occurring in this, yep. uh, in this city. No yeah, leadership. Left flank's gone. Yep. There we go. And that's Cowards. game. I mean, look oh at these dead Oh my god. Blues. I'm such a pro at this game. You finally got your win. Uh, you yep. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go buy a cake. <laughs> like, can, well, get, make I her, beat Jackie Fish on it. Yeah, just be like, congratulations, Apollo. <laughs> Please do that <laughs> and tweet it to me. <laughs> Valiant defeat. I feel like I put up a brave defense. Yeah, no, it was, it was good. It was good. Um, no, it was a lot of fun. That was a cool map. Yeah, which, really, really cool. Which you I guys it, can sure. uh, download now. You don't need Rise and Mortar. You just do like France and England or something. Yeah, or even just doing um, the Lord of the Rings mod pack and Gladrian Elves. You know, you can have Elves against Urukai uh, with just their mods. They won't obviously be Rise of Mordor, but you know their textures are pretty good as well. So that is true. Yeah, yeah looking at the kills, the cavalry are all over a hundred kills, pretty nice. Maybe we could have done a little bit more with them. And then just look at them bardlings, five hundred kills, yeah. 500, 500, 300. Oh I just just got an entire army of them. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you would have gotten tons of kills. Your pikes, uh, not super doing so well there. But again, I like focus them down with crossbow fire. Yeah. Um, and on your side, your crossbows and and swords doing really well. Your berserkers not doing that impressive. But again. I guess it was hard for them to really break because a lot of the infantry they fought were my elite infantry and I did shoot a lot of them as well. Yeah, yeah. They're, that's the thing with... I think they're better like in a pitch battle situation mm. where they can't get like focused down as easily and they can flank and more of a shock troop. It's not meant to hold the front lines kind of thing. Yeah. Last cannon, as you, if, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Um, hopefully this gives you a good view of the, uh, the new map and hopefully we can make some more uh, videos in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.